You're my dirty little secret. I gotta let you know. Oh, I'd be a lot dirtier. <laughs> I've been listening to you since I was four years old. You're like a third parent to me. Oh man, do I respect you? Oh You're god. King. I got a, a really good lesson in how to respect men, and just guys are generally the best people on the face of the planet. Screw these women that want to take away what we have, you know? Screw them, Tom. That's right. Screw them. For God's sake, screw them. Personally, now that I'm 25 and, you know, I wouldn't even consider wanting to have children until I've got my life sorted out. You know what I mean? Like, I think children need to be earned. It's like, it's like hot woman in Vegas. You, you've got to <laughs> earn the right. I feel very passionately about this Sarah Jessica Parker thing. She's the most scary-looking woman I've ever seen. Put a black hat on her. She's the Wicked Witch of the West. She's got a nose that could sink the Titanic. My God, how can they portray her as anything even remotely attractive? It drives me crazy. Dude, there's like, all right, where I live, there's a Starbucks inside an Albertsons, and then right, like, ten steps away from it, there's another Starbucks. I swear. Yeah. Actually, I think, I, I, my neighborhood, there's a Starbucks, and then inside the Starbucks, there's another Starbucks. No way. Yeah, you go inside the Starbucks, and then, then there's another door, and you go in, and it's another Starbucks. That's nuts. And then near my school... No, but, no, but it gets better, dude. Okay, here's what happens. I, I was going to the bathroom, and I go in there... And they had a barista in the men's room. Really? Of oh, one yeah. Time. I totally agree with you. Please continue to do your work. Thank Very you. positive for the men out there. Please, men, listen. Listen. Tie yourselves up. Go put a condom on. Pay attention. Women are sick. My wife had cheated on me while I was in Iraq. So I called in November, told you about the story. And December 18th, the day before my brother's birthday, I got divorced. All right. And, and, and the top of all this is now I'm banging her best friend, and her best friend is now turned on her. I got to talk to all my brothers out there real quick. You need to listen to our teacher, our father, our brother. Do not live with ladies. You might be able to have a girlfriend now and again. You shouldn't do that either. You don't live with them. It can only go wrong. You're a fake and a phony. I don't Prove believe it. half of what you said. Really? You have Vicus zombies calling in. Half of what you're saying that you do, you don't do that. <laughs> you're a liar. I know you're a liar. How do you know? You know I'm a liar. American men. You know I'm a liar? To you, you know that's actionable. I, I have a good attorney. You said you know I'm a liar. You I want the proof. I want the are. proof right now. I you want it. Where's the proof? You talk to women the way you talk to them outside of that show. It's a game to you. Oh, you think so, do you? Yeah, you do kind of want to be objectified a little bit. You'd love some guy to say, hey, nice ass. <laughs> yeah, probably. I would pretend like I didn't, but yeah, I would like it. I wanted to know what your idea of the perfect woman was. That would be a woman who turns into a six-pack and a sandwich after I have her. That's all? <laughs> okay. From Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted fella. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio on this Friday with wide open telephones on the Tom Likas Show. Anything goes here, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week. 
Anything you think we should have talked about, you can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, you kick your ass the hell off the telephone. It's that simple. All you have to do is call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's one 800 5800 And on top of that, if you are calling from another country, I mean, we have thousands of people now who listen to us on the Internet, and many of you are not in the United States. You have to dial a different number because the 800 number works only in the United States. So uh, dial this number from anywhere on planet Earth, country code 1. The area code is 323, and the phone number is 520-6211. That number is 1-323-520-6211. Let's go to your calls here at 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello here to Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? The ratings. Hey, man, I, I really need your help, man. Why? I've been uh, going out with this Christian girl, and uh, she's been trying to control me. Well, she can't control you unless you allow it. I know. I've just been a weak man. I. Ah, well. I met her. I met her at this church thing, and now she's just been trying to make me go to church on Sundays. And what were you doing at a church thing? I went with a friend for this one time, and I met her there, and then she's been calling me every day. And has she had sex with you? No, that's the thing too. Well, why would you tolerate anything from her? I, I shouldn't, but I just have nobody, and, like, I mean... You, you still have nobody. I know. I'll never, I know, I'll never really have her, but... She's a Christian. Thing is, is she's told me, like, in her past relationships, she's done things. Done done things is not... Done things means she hasn't done what you wanted to do. Yeah. And I told her I've heard that before. Like, I listen to your show, like... Yeah, they've done all these things, but now that she met me, she doesn't want to do them, you know? Oh, and she doesn't even want to do the things she's been doing. Yeah, now she's like... Why are you wasting your time on this? I don't know. And then she came over the other night, and we were drinking. What do you mean you don't know? Do you always do things without knowing why you do them? No. Why are you doing them now? I make good choices and listen to your show. But. All right. Here's 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 um, a good choice. If she's a Christian and she does not engage in sexual intercourse, you shouldn't be dating her. End of story. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So why are you? I don't know. I'm a sucker, I guess. Because you've got no game and you can't find a girl. I know. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with you. So you're so right desperate now. you'd go out with somebody who won't even have sex with you. I guess so. But you haven't even told us the reason why you called in. Well, I just need some help. We'll get to that. Tell us the reason you called in. Because I've just been feeling like crap. No, no. You were about to say something about the other night you were having a drink. What happened? Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, well, yeah, I was having some drinks with my friend. She came over here and asked me if I was drinking. Well, of course she knew because, like, you know, I had some drinks. And then she called me a liar because I said I wasn't drinking. Were you drinking? Yeah. Why'd you lie about it? Well, obviously, she, you know, you could tell if someone's drinking, so... Why did you lie about it? Because I had a couple of drinks, and I was... Why did you lie about it? Because you're a pussy. <laughs> why are you laughing? I guess, yeah. why, why did you lie to her? I guess I'm a pussy about it. I should have just manned up and said, if you don't like it, get out of here. No, just say Yes. Yeah. Why Why does that be a confrontation? Why does that have to be drama? Just say, oh, yeah, oh, no. yeah, we're having some drinks. You bet. Mouth are on the air. Oh, sorry, sorry. Why Why? Uh, why couldn't you just say that? Are you a little boy? No. Well, then why I mean, couldn't you say the truth? I don't. Because you were afraid she wouldn't I continue to date you without sex? <laughs> You're right, you're right. Can't you see all the reasons this woman is wrong for you? Yeah. What else did she complain about? I could, like, get her to, like, I could, like, play my game to, like... What makes you think you can change the behavior of anybody? I don't know. She thinks the same thing. What? That she can change your behavior? 
Yeah. She is changing it. Already you're lying about having drink, drinks with your friends. I know. Yeah. And you're dating somebody who won't give you any sex. Seems like she is changing you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now she wants to go to church. Have you gone yet? Yeah, I've been going. There we go. You go to church, too. So she's the one doing the changing of you. Yeah. And you're the pussy. Thing is, too, I I didn't even think going to college. I dropped out like a year ago. Dropped out of college, too. So you could date her? (laughs) No, I won't be able to date anybody like that. Why did you drop out of college? I just haven't gone back. I got lazy. You're lazy? And you like hanging out, having drinks with your friends? Yeah. Right. Where's your father? Uh, He lives, he doesn't live here in Irvine. He lives up north. Yeah. So he and your mom have split? Yeah, they they were never together. Mm Mm-hmm. I could tell. Yeah. Because you're a little pussy. (laughs) I mean, what... And did your mom tell you your dad was a jerk? Jerk, a hole, creep. What word did she use to describe your father? Yeah, probably a lot of stuff like that. Right. And uh, did you believe that was true? No. You didn't believe that was true? No. He remarried, and I had to live with my stepmom for a while, and she was just like the worst woman I could ever live with, too. Like a controlling girl, like I would never want to be with someone like that. And sure enough, uh, just like my therapist would say, you know, history repeats itself. It does, but... You just said, oh, yeah, a controlling uh, woman you would never want to be with. And, and look what you picked! I know. Can you see the connection? Yeah. So do you plan to break the cycle or no? I know I have to if I want to be happy. Well, when are you going to do it? I could do it tonight. Yeah, I think that's good. You can do it right now? I don't know. I don't think I can do it right now. Meow. <laughs> Man. Do it right now. What would I say? Just You're going to tell the truth. The truth is that you need to be with somebody who's more like you. Yeah. Somebody who likes having a few drinks, somebody who likes having fun, somebody who likes having sex. Yeah. What's wrong with the truth? Nothing, I guess. So, what's the problem? You just gotta face it sometimes. You think this is gonna get any better? You thinking that one day you'll convince her to have sex with you? No, but... Just from the way she is, I kind of think that she already had sex before one time. Well, she's a born-again virgin. I got news for you. I think, yeah. That's she's had sex with everybody else, but now you are going to get shut out. Yeah, just, uh, I'm not going to stand for that. How many times have you dated her? She's been coming over, like, almost every day. What happened to three strikes you're out? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. I need to get back in school and, like, get a real job. Right. What do you do for a living? I'm a valet. You're a valet? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 do you speak Spanish? No, no. How many uh, How many valets are there like you? You're, you? you're the Caucasian valet. Yeah. The last time I saw a Caucasian valet, I think, was in Aspen. Also the home of the uh, Caucasian Skycap, the one I've ever seen. But, I mean, what do you suggest I do? Just what do I back? suggest you do? Haven't I, I've already given you my suggestions, but uh, you're too much of a pussy to even consider them seriously. All right. I'm considering. I'm, I'm going to do what you say. I mean, the way it's the key to... Stop dating people who won't have sex with you. Stop yeah. dating people you have to lie to. Stop being in relationships. I bro, I mean, I listened to you before, and I knew what I was kind of getting into, but I guess I was just too pussy about it. And, like, I spent money. I took her out to eat. Oh, there we go. Sure you did. Yeah. And she was sitting there telling you about Jesus and telling you how great her church is. Yeah. 
<laughs> I even told her, like, I told her even my beliefs. Like, I believe in abortion, and, like, I wouldn't marry without a prenuptial agreement. And What'd she, she tell said, you? She just said she doesn't believe in that. Yeah, I ain't. Doesn't believe in abortion. So you, you, the luckiest thing is that you didn't have sex with her because she probably would get pregnant. Sure. I guarantee you she's not using birth control. Yeah, that's another thing she said that I just disagreed with that. What was that? Birth control. Like, she said she would not be on it. Well, pal, can you see that you're dating somebody who's wrong for you? Yeah. So? Yeah. Understand also, your dad, that creep, that jerk. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one your mom pulled her clothes off, spread her legs, and said, come on in. Yeah. Well, my dad got, after that, I mean, he's more successful. He graduated college, and uh -huh. he's a teacher now, but he made some stupid mistakes before earlier, and he fixed them. Yep. Like marrying your mom, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Have you learned anything here, Ryan? Yeah. What have you learned? I got to do what I have to do to make myself happy, not date stupid girls that try and force me to do things I don't want to do. So when are you going to break up with her? I'm just not going to call her again. Really? Yeah. And what happens when she shows up? I don't know if she will. Maybe she'll just get the hint. I hope you're right. But I, if it were me, I would step up to the plate and I would say what I think. Can't you tell I'm that kind of guy? Yeah. Why aren't you that kind of guy? Because I haven't done things to gain confidence in myself. Well, this is, big, this is a good way to start to build some. Yeah. Figure out how you feel and what you want and then tell her. Consider it practice for the future. Yeah. All right. And don't buy her... And by the way, don't buy her dinner in order to tell her. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not wasting any more money. Please. Unless I get sex. But I no, get you're, not get it. you're not getting sex, and you don't want sex with someone who doesn't use birth control. That's true. Okay. Got it, man. Thanks for the help. You take me out of African tribal style? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Me and my friends have a little drinking game with your show. For every minute that you're on the phone with a stupid broad, we have two shots. And let me tell you, man, every Friday is party night. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. Yeah. Wide open telephones here. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Building up to a big climax. Are you ready? Here it is. <laughs> Unbelievable. I really think marching band music is not appreciated... Those students work very hard. Tell you what. 
<laughs> Trying to keep a straight face here. Sorry. <laughs> yes, want to say hello to everybody who knows what a spit valve is. Good work. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no! Isn't it great to be an American? You think they you think they get this in London or Liverpool? Absolutely not. Unbelievable. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Uh, let's say hello here to uh, look at all of these. Wow. Uh, let's try this one here. Let's say hi here to Tom on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Drinking plenty of wine? I am drinking wine right now, as a matter of fact. Yes, I am. I know. I should be there with you with some new arrivals. Anyhow, Tom, my wife and I drive a car together quite often, and if it's like this time, we turn on your show. Now, together, almost simultaneously, we said, you know what? Tom needs to receive a triple Nobel Prize. Are you proposing to nominate me for a Nobel Prize? Tom, I certainly would. Now, let me tell you why I called. Yesterday, the lady that rang and you offered a hundred grand to prove you wrong, you know, and so on. For women like that, I, I really have a major thing to say, a major statement to make. You are helping curb world, world population, which is exploding. You're helping to curb unwanted children being born, you know? You're helping promote not just safe sex, but also double protection to ensure there's no unwanted children. You're helping promote education. Now, how many, and let me be gentle about this, religious institutions or world governments actually promote that in one single sitting? None. Well, certainly and, not the Pope, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, you know, not really. Because the other day we were driving past the school at about 4 o'clock, and there was this young Hispanic girl. Admittedly, she was really gorgeous. And you can understand why at 14 she was pregnant. But where are the parents? Where is the Pope? That's right. Well, I told the guy before, you know, uh, his father had left home, and it was really obvious. There's a lot of that going on. Hey, Tom, thanks a lot for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Lynn on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you? Great. Good. You sound good today. Um, I was just wondering, years ago I used to listen in L.A. I'm pretty sure it was you, you that was saying this. Um, the person I was listening to, uh, women used to call in and bitch, gripe, and moan about how their boyfriends didn't want to get married. And you would tell him it's not that he doesn't want to get married. It's just that he doesn't want to marry you. That was me. And that was you. See, yes. And I, hey, I think that writer, I can't remember his name, from Sex in the City, totally ripped you off. Well, it wouldn't be the first time I was ripped off or the last. Do you know what I'm talking about? The guy that came up with that, um, he's just not that into you. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Who uh, turned that into a low-rated daytime talk show, I think. I know. Is that still on, by the way? He actually came up with that. I think that's gone. He wears those sweater vests and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. He did all the things I wouldn't do, yes. But you were the one that actually start. You were the one that actually came up with that. And I used to listen to you back then, and I used to think, you know, he's so right. If only these women would just listen to what he's saying. He's so right. It's well, not that he doesn't want to get married. It's just that he doesn't want to marry you. That, that, that's exactly right. He's just trying to be nice by not saying, I mean, I want to marry you. That's the amazing thing. When women start going into this whole routine about men being afraid of commitment or afraid of relationships, when it, it, this is really them in denial. It, it's really that the guy doesn't like them. Right, exactly. And by the way, I'll add, and you probably heard me say it back then, that if you've had sex with a guy and then he doesn't call you, it's not because he's a jerk. Oh, I wish it was. It is because, think about it. He didn't like having sex with you. He didn't think you were a cool chick. He didn't like it. What if, if a guy had great sex, why wouldn't he call again? You know, I, I think this is this is really 
freeing news. I remember when they were doing this whole, I used to watch Sex and City all the time, and I remember when they did this episode, and the one, the one character, the Cynthia Nixon character, was saying, this is great, I love this, he's just not that into me, it's so freeing. And I was thinking, when I heard you first say this back years ago in L.A., I was thinking, that is so freeing just to know that, you know? Why go into this whole big, long uh, rationalization or explanation of it? Um, you women know. rationalize too much. Well, the thing is, women, in a way, they, they do it in their own way. They do the same thing to us. When women don't enjoy being with us, oh, they they, they d delay seeing us. They say they're going to be busy this Friday. They're going to be busy next Friday. They're going to be busy the Friday after that. That's what That's what women do. What men do is we just don't call. Right. We don't call. Right. Um, because sit around and try to figure out when you are going to call and why didn't you call? I, because the last thing they would ever guess, the last thing they would ever guess is because we didn't have a good time with them. I know. It's amazing. Yeah, I want to make this real clear to the women out there. Anytime I've had great sex, I definitely call again. And I don't wait three weeks to call back. But sometimes it's weird because guys will act like they're, ha they're, a little, they're not acting. They'll seem like they're really having a good time. And don't believe don't great. believe how we act because again maybe we don't want to get into the argument with you. Right. I don't know. It's weird, but anyway, I just I think that is just so incredibly freeing that and and you came up with that first and I just I was so kind of like ticked off for you in a way when that guy came up with that. He's just not that into you because I thought he's ripping off Tom Likas. Tell me he's not. Um it's happened many times. Uh, most recently in January, an episode of Ugly Betty, there was a character based on me. Uh, really? Essentially, I that show. well, you don't have to. Uh, we heard about it because it ran in a promo, and then we went to the ABC website and downloaded it. Really? Yep. Wow. And it's a direct ripoff. It was the last wow. new episode of Ugly Betty, which appeared in January. It's probably on the ABC website. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And you don't have to, it's like early in the show, it's like the first few minutes of the show. Wow. But I mean, well, it's a it's direct rip. It's brilliant. I mean, if only women would just get over it. Stop calling me a misogynist. Saying. That's the thing. Stop calling me a misogynist and pay attention to what I'm telling you. Because, I, you know, really, I, I, I could be very helpful to a woman if she could uh, get over herself and realize that this is information that women need as much as men. I agree. And not only that, but I don't think you're a misogynist, Tom, because I've heard you a few times when, when women have called in and they've been like in a really bad place, they've been having real problems, and you are incredibly kind to them. I mean, you can be a real nice guy. Well, I know that's not your image, but you can be. But this is so. like, you know, this is like when people drop the, 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 the racism where they call somebody a racist. You've seen that happen, right? When you, when you can't think of anything else to call somebody, you call them a racist. Right. This is what women do. They call me a misogynist because, frankly, they don't have an answer to the things I'm saying, and it makes them upset. Right. Well, the reality is you don't have to come up with an answer to what I'm saying. I'm telling you what really goes on in guys' heads. Right. I, I didn't invent what goes on in guys' heads. I'm a reporter. I'm telling you what guys think. Exactly. Well, reality is way too much of a concept for most women, and especially the real young women, I think, a lot that listen to you. Um, I believe your demographic is probably a lot younger than I am, but I, I think that, you know, those girls, it's, they just they don't want to accept reality yet. You know, they, they want to still believe in the fairy tales and, you know, believe what they want to believe. And if they would listen to you, they actually would be a lot better off. I couldn't agree with you more. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like It. In this day and age, for a man to get married, he's only looking to lose. It's the Tom Like It Show. <laughs> Hollywood, it's Tom Likas' show, 1-800-5800-TOM. 
And now, celebrating the diversity that is Southern California in the middle of afternoon drive, we bring you our good friend, Holly the Dyke. Holly, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. <clears throat> Sorry, what's up? Not much. <laughs> you have to tell me, Holly. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now how I almost uh, got a one-way ticket to the other side while I was getting some tram. Hold on. How did that happen? <clears throat> okay. I got dressed at the house, you know. What are you doing over there? <clears throat> Where? Uh, are you, are I'm going to you... tell you what happened. Okay. okay. I, uh, Sounds like you're sitting in the I'm... can. No. <laughs> I'm moving. Around. I'm getting a cigarette. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I get dressed, getting ready to go out. Got my uh, harness. Yeah. Strap. Got it. Where do you get your harness? Do you get wanna... it, Do you get your harness at a tack shop or do you go to like a uh, Hustler Hollywood? Where do you get a harness? You get it at, um, I go to the pleasure chest to get all my. Pleasure things. chest. Yeah, that's like the hot spot. Yes, it is. Inner Avenue? Right there in West Hollywood, of course. Of course, man. Everybody knows where the, the hot stuff to get is. So, anyways, I, that's where I got mine the whole game. By the way, I was talking to some diesel dyke the other day. She said that your pleasure chest is, she was very uh, familiar with, as a matter of fact. What is your cup what? size there, Holly? Who, me? You. What's your cup size? Uh, C. C. Very nice. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, so. All right, so you got your harness and you're on your way out. out. I'm going out on a date. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm I'm not going out on a date. I'm going out on the prowl. Oh, okay. Date. And you carry a harness, you carry your harness in tow no, with you. It, well, no, 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 it's all, I, you know, you, you, you got to have it on, uh, Tom. Oh, so you're wearing it. But yeah, yeah, you got to have it on, you know, okay. under your clothes. So, you know, you've got to be ready. So you're to wearing the harness and you are, uh. I'm you, strapped. You're strapped and ready to go. Right. Ready to go. Everything is, every place has its place and it's there. Okay. Right. Okay. So anyways, I go to the, the club. I went to Girl Bart's in Hollywood. It's right. over there by, um, uh, off the sunset. G-R-R-L, by, right? Huh? G-R-R-L, Girl Bar. No, G-I-R-L. Oh, really? It's girl. Oh, yeah, girl okay. bar. All right. Okay, so anyways, going there, cruising, uh, you know, cruising around, looking for some, uh, action. Some, uh, action. And, uh, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time looking around. So, you know, I, looking at the go go chicks and blah, blah, blah. They're just, you know, everybody's watching them, dancing, sweating, da, da, da. I'm not, I don't want, I'm not looking for a little sweaty chick, all right? But I want a hot one. You want a hot one? By, so, by the way, uh, didn't, by the way, didn't you have a girlfriend last time I talked to you? Yeah, I, yeah, I have one now. Oh, you do? But does she yeah. know you you, you strap yeah, up she, and uh, harness yeah. yourself and go out there? Yeah, we got our toy chest. Oh, very good. I mean, we, do you like report been, back you know, to her on what happens? Do you tell her like uh, what your night was like when you're out of the prowl? Yeah, and you know, she tells me what she does when she goes out. That's great. And then you know, we do what we do. <laughs> so, All right. So you don't want a sweaty chick. You just want a hot chick. And there you are. You're no, out of the dance you know, floor. I want, you know, we're going to get sweaty later. I, yeah, of I don't want. I want to be all, you know, uh, sticky, sweaty before. Yeah. So you know, and I want, and, I, and I'm looking for, you know, uh, young and, uh, you know, not too, you know, it's so loud in there. You know, I'm going strictly on visuals. Yes. So um, I cruise the bars. Mm, not much, so I, you know, I go up here around this other part where it's, um, they're hanging out, whatever. Yeah. So, you know, they're like hanging right there. So I, I spot a chick. She looks, you know, she looks good. She's not real old and, you know, not, not real old. Not real old to me is third, not up, not past 30. Not past 30, yeah. <laughs> not past 30. Yeah. Since I'm in my 40s, you know, I'm there, you know, I'm not going to get a 12 year old. But uh, she was probably like 23, and she was looking. She was, you know, looking. Like, I like that kind of dirty. Yeah, dirty, looking, but clean. Yeah. You know, like a tramp stamp, but not real. You know, not, did she have a tramp stamp? No, she didn't. Oh, uh -huh. but you know, I didn't even know. You're ready to you give know. her your tramp stamp, right? No, I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, you could probably no. uh, slap one on. 
Yeah, I'm sure, you know, if I needed to, but my pants aren't usually coming off, so. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> They're coming off at some point, Holly. Uh, yeah, but not... Not not at this point with this chick. Okay. By the way, do you have tat? By the way, do you have tats? I have a couple. I don't have a lot. Really? What are they? I have a few. What are your tats? I have a couple of cover ups and uh, and um, some you know juvenile hall. Juvenile tats. hall tats, really yes. Uh, did you have the no. name of chicks you banged in the past? Oh, yeah. oh no, 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 no. You never. You were never in love. See, you get names and then you get. Poison. You might as well uh, just cross them off your list. Well, so or, you should get somebody's name. Or that's the so, only chick you could bang. You know, Susan. Yeah, be the only and, one you, you could know, do. And you know, and you're going to love them forever. And yeah, right. right. That was when I was 16, and I didn't know anything. Okay, so anyways, I, I, I see this bra, and I'm like, okay, she's passable, and uh, right. I want to go. I'm ready to go. I was, you know, high. So. I tell the bartender to... You were high? Uh, huh? You were high? Was, uh, yes. Uh, were you, they're were... living through chemistry, Tom. Oh, okay. They're, well, they're living through chemistry. What, is your, chem what is your chemical of choice? What do you... Uh... <clears throat> um, we, you know, a little Weed? E. A little E. A little yeah. of this, a little of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, not to... Uh, not too dangerous, but you know, I like I like danger anyway. A little danger, a little bit of danger. You do know. a hit of E and go out there, and now everyone's starting to look good. Huh? You do a little hit of E, and now everyone is starting to look good. Oh uh, yeah, well, no, not everybody. <laughs> but this is this is a this is a, a young, uh, uh, you know, this isn't like a a dive, this right? Is, uh, uh, paying this... some money to get in club. Oh. That that okay, that's one so, mark of a classy joint. Yeah, I they mean, they charge you know, a cover if, charge. Yeah, if, if it has a cover charge, then you know uh, they're that's not class. like really bad. Yes. So, I, anyways, I go in there and I see this chick at the bar. So she's like just sitting by, watch her for a little bit, and I like you know kind of like the way she's you know her her facade. She's laying down. So, um, you know, she's looking around like she's looking around, she's kind of talking to the girl next to her. And so um, I don't know if she's with anybody or not, but I'm going to find out. And this is how I do. I tell the bartender to ask her if I can buy her a drink. But if she wants it, she has to come over here with me. So um, she, you know, he, she went down there. I was going to say he, but they don't have he's in girl bar. Right. Um, for for bartenders, so she came down. Have girls who look like he's. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, they do, but not for the bartenders. The bartenders have to be early girls. Uh, I see. With you know, they got to have their the, the TNA is in full effect. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very. It's it's very you know it's very like our clubs have to be like undercover. Yes, I understand. You know, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna like go in there and see, you know, out movie stars because I don't know where they go, but they do. They go to to uh, the four thousand uh, people event uh, that's up in um, up in uh, Palm Springs every year. The Diana Shore thing, where like ten thousand lesbians get it on up there for a weekend, which is fun and frolic and trim and yeah. uh, everything, everything. <clears throat> yes. So, me and the chick, you know, I'm like, okay, you want... Um, I hear someone had a hole-in-one last year at the Dinosaur. Is that true? A hole-in-one, yeah. There was a lot of holes-in-one. <laughs> holes-in-one or two or three. So All right, we, anyway, got, we got about a minute here, uh, Holly. So how did this uh, play out? Okay, so here we go. We go up to the thing. I tell her, okay, let's go. Do uh, you want, you know, let's go. So we go, we're in the car. Go up to, you know, over there where, uh, where, uh, um, <laughs> where, uh, Griffith Park, up that way by where the, where the, um, pond is. Not the pond, but the Ferndale thing. So park in the side, I park over there. We're, you know, doing it. She's on, you know, she's uh, on my lap. And uh, we've got the windshield thing open. And, you know, we're 
going at it. All Don't sudden, tell me you got caught. Don't tell me you got caught. Well, okay, I won't tell you, but yeah. All of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Uh, oh, my God. Over, Holly the Dyke over. in custody. The Tom Likas Show.